Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. On the occasion of the national initiative launched by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation RHF to produce face masks in cooperation with productive families affiliated with the foundation and with the supervision of the Ministry of Health, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to protect the health of citizens and residents. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the effort of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and those of Team Bahrain to combat the coronavirus led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa which is working hard to contain the virus by implementing all international standards and precautionary measures to combat it. His Highness commended Citizens Community Initiative to combat COVID-19 and to raise awareness on the pandemic and the means of avoiding it. He asserted that the commitment of citizens and residents in the the kingdom and the following of instructions and precautionary measures is the first line of defense against the virus. His Highness stated that national activist posts on social media are circulated through his platforms which calls for the necessity of publishing accurate information from official sources. For his part, the Secretary General of the RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, stated that an agreement has been made with productive families and a sewing workshop cooperating with the Foundation to produce face masks with the supervision of the Ministry of Health to ensure their safety and effectiveness to be distributed to workers as their working conditions may put them at risk of contracting the virus. Upon the directives of the Kingdom in light of the precautionary measures to combat the coronavirus COVID-19 and for the safety and health of all, the Representatives Council will hold its remote session next Tuesday, which will be the first of its kind in the history of the parliamentary work in the Kingdom, in coordination between the Representatives Council and the Shura Council to enhance continuous cooperation in the Legislative Authority. This step comes in implementation of the directives of the Representatives Council Speaker Fozia Zainal and in activation of the strategy of the Electronic Parliament after the success of of the Representatives Council in holding remote meetings for parliamentary committees, the Council Bureau and the Parliamentary Division. The General Secretariat of the Council of Representatives completed all the necessary preparations to hold the session remotely next Tuesday and coordinated with the representatives and the concerned authorities to hold the meeting broadcasted on TV and through the Council's website. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh stressed the importance of committing to the preventative directives to preserve the safety of all and the Council's support of the steps taken by the government, the Coordinating Committee and the National Team to protect the Kingdom from the spread of the coronavirus. The Council Chairman decided to hold the Council sessions remotely starting from the 26th session which will be held on Sunday, April 12th. The chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, the STH, and head of the National Task Force to Combat the Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, conducted a field inspection visit to the field hospital for intensive care in the military hospital in the presence of Royal Medical Services Commander Major General Professor Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa within the framework of continuous efforts to combat COVID-19 to ensure the application of all precautionary measures according to the highest standards. The chairman of the Supreme Council of Health affirmed that all precautionary measures will continue in order to enhance the kingdom's efforts in combating the spread of COVID-19, noting that Bahrain has been leading in its protocol, which is a source of commendation from international organizations. Sheikh Mohammed also affirmed that the precautionary plans and preventative and control strategies that are being implemented quickly, including the allocation of this field hospital, come within the framework to harness all capabilities to combat the virus. He commended the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their follow-up of Team Bahrain efforts to enhance the health and safety of all. Sheikh Mohammed expressed pleasure in with this achievement uh, which commemorates Bahrain's efforts and contributions in combating the spread of the virus, stressing Bahrain's readiness with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to face all challenges and work according to studied principles and an integrated system. During the visit, the SCH chairman listened to a detailed explanation on the field hospital project, which will be managed by the BDF hospital and includes 130 beds for COVID-19 ICU cases. He announced that the kingdom will provide five 
500 beds for critical cases in various areas in the kingdom. For his part, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali announced the provision of 100 beds for the ICU at the field hospital established in Sitra, noting that it will be provided with the best equipment with a high standard of service. He stated that the hospital will be managed by specialized medical caterers, will include all requirements and will be prepared at record time, according to the best medical specifications and standards. Had, had you know, been done in only seven days, and it's, I think you can um, uh, consider it as a miracle. We have 133 beds, ICU beds, equipped and staffed. And I think that is, you know, if you compare it to any other country, uh, it is very difficult to, uh, you know, achieve this in this period and this, and, you know, to prepare everything. I mean, the, the bed, the equipment, the people, the staff, that's something which is, I think, is very, uh, you know, is American in a way. And I think you know, that makes that you know, Bahraini people and the health, uh, you know, establishment actually is ready for all these circumstances. The project was thought about it uh, about uh, uh, nine days ago and started uh, one week ago. Uh, we start with an um, uh, idea that convert uh, the third floor in BDF car park as an um, intensive care unit. We inspect several places and we found this is the best one. And uh, we start the work immediately last Thursday. And yesterday was finished and ready to, to be used. Uh, we also train um, uh, nurses and physicians how to deal with ventilator because uh, what you need here is intensive care uh, doctors and nurses. So this is also done simultaneously in the Crown Prince Center. And uh, here you are, you can see 130 beds ready to be used from today. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, commended the directives of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to entrust the ministry with doubling the value of social security benefits and disability pensions. Around 17,000 Bahraini families and 12,000 individuals with disabilities registered with the Ministry of Labor will benefit from the decision that will require 5.5 million Bahraini dinars. The funds will be distributed in mid April, a few days before the start of the holy month of Ramadan. Maidan noted that the ministry has started implementing His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's decision and the money will be transferred to the beneficiaries on April 15th. The minister added that these directives that coincide with the holy month of Ramadan are not unusual for His Royal Highness the Premier and are in accordance with his generous and genuine traditions and constant interest in supporting the living standards of citizens and ensuring a decent life for all. He also added that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is following up on their living conditions regularly and steadily and it's constantly endeavoring to ensure a decent life for all citizens meeting their needs by providing supplies for the holy month and elevating the financial burdens. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saeed Saleh, launched a drive through COVID-19 testing center at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. As Saleh highlighted, the ministry's continued efforts to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, including modernizing and facilitating testing methods aimed at safeguarding citizens and residents. The minister further highlighted the national efforts of Team Bahrain, especially the health workers and volunteers who have worked tirelessly to ensure the kingdom's collective health is safeguarded. She noted, that the services provided by the COVID-19 drive through testing center will facilitate the final testing process for individuals in self-isolation, adding that individuals would need to book their appointments via the Be Aware app three days before their self-isolation period is due to finish. As Saleh further noted that the drive through center will be in operation every day of the week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The minister indicated that the process would take five minutes on average, noting that the center houses eight stations designated for collecting health information and a medical sample from individuals. As Saleh noted that the final medical test result will be available online via the ministry's website. She emphasized that the COVID-19 drive through testing center further supports the goals of the kingdom's national campaign to combat COVID-19 and will contribute to the kingdom's dedicated efforts to ensure the safety and health of the community. Within the framework of the commitment to strengthen precautionary measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus to protect the health and safety of citizens and residents, the competent medical teams of, in the Ministry of Health, in cooperation and coordination with the police, have taken precautionary measures that include examining workers living in the workers' housing area and Ross's Wayed. This step comes to ensure that the residents of this area are free from any infections in order to protect the safety of all. 
Upon the directives and decisions of the Coordinating Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, obliging all citizens and residents to wear face masks in public places and to allow the resumption of the work of commercial and industrial shops that provide goods of services directly to customers, provided the following requirements are, fo are followed, including wearing a face mask by workers and visitors to these commercial stores, reducing the number of people present in the facility, and and preventing overcrowding in stores while leaving sufficient distance. The decision will be applied starting today at 7 o'clock. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism announced the provision of more than a million medical masks in the markets and pharmacies to contribute to the application of the precautionary measures taken by the Kingdom to address the novel coronavirus COVID-19. In implementation of the decisions issued to oblige all citizens and residents to wear face masks in public places to allow the resumption of the work of commercial and industrial stores that provide goods or services directly to customers to follow conditions that include wearing face masks by shop workers and visitors and to reduce the number of people present in the facility and prevent overcrowding in stores, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism announced that this evening at 7 o'clock, 1 million additional medical masks will be provided in the markets and pharmacies. The total quantity provided is 2 million medical masks to contribute to the implementation of precautionary measures taken by the Kingdom to combat the coronavirus COVID-19. The Ministry also announced that coordination has been made with markets and pharmacies by, selling, by setting the selling price of one face mask for an extra million that will be provided today at 180 fills per piece.